Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session I'll be showing you the new option in Solid Camp 2009 of Transform. What Transform allows me to do, it allows me to uh, copy an operation and array it across the part or in different positions or around, rotate it, and have that uh, operation done more than once by only doing one operation instead of creating um, operation for each one of these holes or drill points for every single one of these holes for, in this particular case. What I've done here at this moment before I even started is I've already created an operation to drill out one hole which is this hole over here. Now I've decided instead of creating a, an operation that has uh, every single one of these drill points I want to do a simple copy of all of the, this operation onto each one of these positions as this as well. But not only that, if I zoom out a little, you'll see that I have actually three of these parts. So not only do I want to have it spaced out every single one of these holes exactly from one to next to the other, I also want to take each instance of array of a transform and transform that as well to the rest of the parts itself. So what I can do is as follows. I'll simply right click on this operation and go to the option of transform. Now you'll note there's a new transform window that opened up instead of a drop down menu. In this transform menu what you have here right now is you have the operation that I've chosen and on the side here I have my option of init for bringing it to original back to the original rotating translate mirror and fourth axis I'm gonna use right now the option of translate and what will I do in translate when I choose a translate I'm gonna choose the option of matrix this is by the way what we the way we had it in our previous operations and I'll have my number of rows, my number of rows being on that particular part over there. How many rows do I have? Which is two rows. I'll simply write two. The number of columns. I have nine columns. In other words, one, two, three, and so on and so forth. My X step will be 10 millimeters and my Y step will also be 10 millimeters. Now we've added into this field already, as you can see, a new option saying do the rows first or do the columns first. And I'll simply say OK. But like I said, I want to now create another transformation, another translate across for the rest of these operations. So all I do is I'll continue now. I'll simply say translate again, and I'm translating it actually on the translated operation already. I'll simply say translate. Again I'll do matrix and this time I'll say I have one row it's including all of this and my number of columns are the three parts one two three. So I'll simply say three. My X step these are 200 millimeters away from each other each one so I'll simply write in 200 and now click on OK. You'll now note that I have actually two transform translate options within one operation. We also have here the option including the original job or without, without the original hole. In this case I'll leave it exactly the way it is. Right clicking over here I can add another one or also edit what I've done before what I've written into this field or, if necessary, even delete. I'll simply say OK. And now I'll show you my simulation. And I'll use my solid verify to do my simulation. You'll see from that one operation that I had before, you'll see that I'll drill out every single one of the holes. And this is all done within one transformation operation. Now, my, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually changing my geometry 
to include every single one of these holes in that particular geometry and we'll use our transform for something else what I've done here is I have a new geometry and I'll show including all of these holes and if I were to simulate that you'll see that it's drilling out every single one of those holes which is what we've done up until now now what I'd like to do in my option of transform is instead of editing this option over here this operation that I've done here I want to create a new operation no, the transform itself will be a new added on operation. And in this operation, I'll simply say translate. I'll keep that one row and I'll keep this at three columns, having my X step every 200. And I'll say OK. Now, if I include my original job, it'll do every single one of these operations. What I can do is I can simply say, don't include the op original operation, and then say, OK. So now I have another operation here. Now, what's good about this? What's nice about this is sometimes I want to do the first part only. So all I have to do is simply suppress this operation and then I can run a G code only on this operation and nothing else. If I were to do my simulation, you'll see that it will only do that particular part. If afterwards I decide, okay, now I want to do all the parts, I simply unsuppress this. And now when I do when my, oper my simulation, you'll note that my simulation will be done on every single one of those parts instead of going back doing another transform this is done in all in a simple few simple steps making it a lot easier to work now with transform thank you for joining us on solid professor take care and have a nice day